Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Coke on the Beat. I hope you're feeling nice. I hope you're feeling good. Today is a Saturday and we love, 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 love to give you gifts on a Saturday. So today on VIP Guests, we have Valentine. So Valentine is coming on a Saturday again this year. <laughs> Hello, Valentine. Hi, Butterfly. How are you? I'm I was good. talking about Valentine the holiday, but... <laughs> yeah. Do you get that a lot? Yes, sometimes people keep asking me, like, was I born on the 14th or something? So the question is, were you born on the no. 14th? <laughs> Actually, I'm an April baby. So. Wow. So yeah. your parents were just romantic and they're like... Yeah, I think their Valentine's were, was quite memorable, <laughs> such that they named me Valentine. So I like that. I like that. All right, so uh, you are into jazz. Yes. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm I'm working on an on a jazz album, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Okay. Mm. So you know what, jazz is usually associated with uh, you know mature people and you know people that have been there for a very long time. But you're just 21, and uh, you've been actually singing for a very long time. So just tell us what what inspiration went behind you choosing the genre that you're gonna you know sing at. Well, I think it's because of the of the type of music that I've been listening to as I was growing. Mm -hmm. um, I love Zonke, Zonke mm. Tikana from South Africa. Mm -hmm. I love Lira. I love um, here in Zimbabwe. I love Duduma Nyenga, Cynthia mm -hmm. Mare, those kind of people. So I've just been looking up to them, and I figured I since I love jazz so much, why not just do jazz as my genre, and then just mix with the other genres as I go along. Okay. Okay, so I understand that uh, you have a lot of big things coming, you have a lot of new music that's going to be coming, and you're actually working on an album that's going to be strictly jazz. Yes, it's going to be strictly jazz. Okay, so how many tracks can we look at? Um, I'm having eight tracks, but mm -hmm. then I'm taking one single off that I'm releasing. Okay. It's called Ndinewe. Wow. So the, the album, it's, um, it's jazz, it has a bit of love music, it has a bit of... Um, sorrowful stuff like I, I got inspiration from someone who lost a baby oh. so I ended up re writing a song based on that so okay. it's one of those sad songs where anyone can relate because okay. definitely you've lost someone special in your life so anyone can relate okay so with that I mean you also have a lot of love songs and you know because yes. every girl I love love songs you know because you know they, they inspire you so when you write these love songs, mm. um, you just said that you borrow experiences from other people. Yes. But when you write love songs, you get them, I don't know, things that you wish would happen to you or it's just strictly your imagination? Yes, some stuff is quite imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you'll see if you listen to the songs, definitely some stuff is imaginary. Mm -hmm. So I just like this Ndinewe track. I'm, I'm supposed to be releasing it today. Okay. Well, the Ndinewe song, it's like I, I was watching this, um, this wedding on YouTube, this celebrity wedding, mm -hmm. and it was in Paris. Everything was wow. just on point. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, I'd love to like serenade my own husband on my wedding. Uh -huh. So I decided to write that song and the inspiration like the lyrics it kept on flowing yeah. as I was imagining what kind of a man he would be mm, very so nice. it just started flowing and I ended up writing a song I recorded it, it came out nice and I'm releasing it okay so I love this direction that we're going because you're absolutely gorgeous and people watching right now they're thinking good hey, I can't want you great eh? you know yeah. so I wanted to ask <laughs> uh, no I, well, I wasn't asking that but I wanted to ask what's your ideal husband like what would he look like what would he what characters would he have well the only physical thing that i would expect is it for him to be tall <laughs> i know right <laughs> obviously <laughs> but then um well when it comes to his character i think mm -hmm. i want someone humble i want someone with a yeah. good sense of humor mm -hmm. and someone is good with kids oh yes definitely. <laughs> I, want, I want um someone that who can be my friend you okay. know i just don't want him to be like that strict husband type i want him to be like my bff something nice. like that so what's the name of this album um, well, I, I'm actually still trying to decide because okay. it's like every time I get into studio, when I come out, I feel like this song was better than the one before. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting to finish all the tracks and um, when I'm done, I think I'm just going to pick like the, the song that I feel could be, this song could be a hit. Okay. That's the song that I'd pick for the album title. It's Valentine right here on Coke on the Beat. I hope you're enjoying the show as much as we're enjoying uh, giving it to you. So what's going to happen is we're going to talk about the album. We're going to talk about the producer. We're going to talk about a whole lot of stuff straight after this. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Oh man, we always make sure that we play the most beautiful videos right here on Coke on the Beat. So that uh, video was coming from Valentine and it's called Shamari. Before we continue with the music, everybody just wants to know, like, what's the inspiration behind this video? Who did it? And all of that. Well, the video was shot and directed by um, Slims. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's the one who did the video. We shot it in Gweru. That's oh. where I'm from. So basically, I didn't want to do something that was um, expected. Mm -hmm. So with the video, we, we wanted, to, wanted to talk about a relationship where things get hard, things get tough at times. You, you find yourself having issues like with your partner mm -hmm. and then all of those things happening. But you know that you guys, you have a bond mm -hmm. and you need to stick together. So in the midst of everything that was happening, as you can see in the video, the guy he follows me to the church and uh -huh. then it becomes like this whole romantic kind of <laughs> thing. So yeah, that is what we wanted to portray because in love it's not always like a bed of roses like all the time. Okay. So that is what we wanted to portray in the video. So you just said to me that uh, you come from Gweru and uh, you know a lot of people complain they say you know what Harare artists are the ones that get more recognition and all of that how does it feel coming from a small town like as an artist I know so Africa is doing really well right now good child is doing incredibly well and uh, you, you know how does it feel coming from a small town do you think that you have less of, a, of an advantage or do you think that it's the same all around well i think when it comes to upcoming artists we all just go through the same challenges okay even if you're from bikita or you're from harare mm -hmm. like it's it's like the steps that you go through they're all the same mm -hmm. we're all going to go through financial challenges at some point you want to push your album you want to push your singles you want to do stuff well i think the the number one challenge would be that especially for me i'm recording my album with mono Mm -hmm. So you find that most of the time you have to be coming to Harare, like every oh. now and then. Mm -hmm. So the challenge would be basically because you have school, you have work, you have all those other things that are happening in Gweru, and you can't be present like every time you need it in Harare. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you want to push your music. Mm -hmm. So I can't say that people in Harare are guaranteed of success just because they're from Harare. Okay because i think we're all just going through the same challenges so you getting updates probably because it's just your time okay so i as you can see good child soul africa shingi mangoma all those people coming from where they're they're doing pretty well so i think if you just put your best album if you just make good music you can have a fair chance nice very nice it's valentine in the studio and we still have a few more questions and you know what i always like to test the artists because you know sometimes gonna go to my get some studio and we don't, we don't know what goes on in the studio okay. so later on she's going to be singing for us just to show us that it is authentically her and i still have a lot of questions for her so if you're just tuning in this is valentine and uh, i just wanted to ask you when was the last time you uh, when was the first time that you sang because you're only 21 so the question right now everybody's asking is like when did it all begin like professionally yes well professionally I started in 2013 mm -hmm. like that's when I had my first project mm -hmm. it was in 2013 I released it in March mm -hmm. yeah so that was it but before the whole professional thing I've been a professional bathroom singer from like way back <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah you know Oh, so, wow. professionally, I've been there for like two years now. Okay. Valentine, thank you so much for coming through. We look forward to playing your videos right here on Coke on the Beat. And we also look forward to playing your music on radio. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Thank and I wish you. you all the best in life. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't be naughty. Be a good chat. I will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was Coke VIP and we're done for now. Join us again next week as we get to dive into the world of celebrity and pick one guest that we choose specifically for you. Stay tuned to cook on the beat. I'm Butterfly and we'll be back.